Welcome to the latest update program. The topic of discussion is mass of stellar black hole measured for the first time. For the first time ever, astronomers have measured the mass of an isolated stellar black hole roaming our galaxy. It is measured with the observation of NASA's, that is National Aeronautics and Space Administration's Hubble Space Telescope. The Hubble telescope was able to determine the mass of the isolated stellar black hole due to a phenomenon called microlensing. Until now, measurements of black holes have been inferred statistically or through interactions with binary systems or the core of galaxies. Now, let's understand how stellar black hole is formed. There are three main types of black holes. The medium-sized black holes are called stellar. Stellar black holes form when the center of a very massive star collapses in upon itself. This collapse causes a supernova or an exploding star that blasts part of the star into space. The size of the supermassive black hole is related to the size and mass of the galaxy it is in. Now information about the newly detected stellar black hole. It lies about 5000 light years away. It lies in the Carina Sagittarius spiral arm of our galaxy. It is traveling across the galaxy at 100,000 miles per hour or 160,000 kilometers. It is fast enough to travel from Earth to the Moon in less than 3 hours. The microlensing technique provided information on the mass, distance and velocity of the black hole. It is estimated that the mass of this black hole is between 1.6 and 4.4 times that of the Sun. Now, information about Hubble Space Telescope. It is a project of international cooperation between NASA and ESA, that is European Space Agency. NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland manages the telescope and the Space Telescope Science Institute, that is STSCI in Baltimore, Maryland, conducts Hubble science operations. 